So hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. So today we're definitely doing a fall theme video. I decided to put together like a bunch of tips and stuff how, for how to look cute at a football game. So I have three different categories. Um, the first category is clothing, paint, and like like kind of decorating I guess and then pictures. So I've been going to like a lot of football games lately so I thought I would share like my wisdom and my seniority mindset of going to football games and for everyone who's in high school I would really suggest going to football games. I just think they're so fun and you're like part of a crowd and you do like audience stuff like the cheers especially like rival games. Definitely go to your rival game if you have one. Go to your homecoming game. I don't know. Yeah football games are just so fun. This is how to be cute at football games. So let's get started. Okay, so my first category for how to be cute at football games is clothing. Clothing is kind of everything at football games, if, especially if you want to, I don't know, impress someone or if you want to, you know, just really feel yourself, feel, feel school spirit. Yeah, so school colors, anything with your school colors. My school colors are red, black, and gold. At school, they're announced like, oh, this week's game is a red out or a white out or a black out. So just like really pay attention to if your school is doing like a theme or specific color. Um, but if all else fails, just wear your school colors, honestly. Like just show up in a black shirt if your school color is black or show up in a purple shirt if your school color is purple. So yeah, just pay attention to your school colors, pay attention to themes that are happening. My next thing is a shirt dress. You can never go wrong with a shirt dress. At my school, it's really popular to get like an oversized shirt, like a large shirt and um, just wear it as a dress. Like you just wear some spandex under it. So this, is the one I recently just made. This is just a large white shirt. Um, so yeah, this was because this is a white because we had a white out at my school, and this was during our rival game. So really, I just kind of put some hand prints on it. I put some paw prints on it since my um, mascot is a saber cat. And then on the back, I put senior. I don't know if you can see that senior. And then 2019 and all of these colors are my school colors so this is just something fun that you can do and especially since it's the still the beginning of the year it's just starting to get cold in Colorado so this was really good because you know it would get hot in the crowd it's just basically it's just simple and this shirt was like three dollars from Hobby Lobby so I just I think it's a good idea just to get like a shirt dress you know decorate however you want it's just like a simple like DIY thing to do for your football games so, school spirit my next thing so shout out to my friend's mom she actually made these pants for me but they're so trendy right now with seniors like a lot of seniors are doing kind of like a senior pant so basically it's similar to the white dress that I made I made that before she made these pants so I didn't know this was happening so basically what senior pants are white pants like this they're like white painter pants from like Dickies or something and you decorate the heck out of them you like really really personalize them and they're just cool and one day you can show your kids or whatever and be like yeah this these are my senior pants so to start off we have my last name which is light Lindsay light <laughs> on one leg so it's just like a leg GHT. um and then on the other side we have a 2019 which is my graduation year um we have some stars right here cute and this is like my favorite part of the pants. My friend's mom took a bandana, like, you know, like head bandana, and put it on the cuffs of the pants, which is so cool. Like, it adds such a cool element to the pants to make them not so boring. And then the back, she did the same thing with the red bandana, put it on the pocket, like the back pocket, made this like square thing on this pocket and put like little black pom-poms all around that and then CV CV is the abbreviation of my high school these are the most adorable pants I've ever owned so thank you to my friend's mom for making these because they're literally amazing and she's literally amazing she spent all day making these for my friend and I and yeah I'll probably wear them to multiple multiple football games coming up so that's just something that you can have like you and a friend do like a DIY project it's just it's just fun Football games are supposed to be fun, so just look fun, you know? <laughs> so yeah, those are it for clothing. But if all else fails, like, you know, you don't really have the money, like the budget or um, supplies to do, like those fun articles of clothing, just show up in a plain shirt with your school colors. And I swear you will have just as much fun as everyone else. Take a little sippy sip first. I'm really getting the fall spirit today. 
This is pumpkin spice creamer. So good. So my next like area of expertise is in paint. So as you can see on that shirt that I just showed you guys, I took fabric paint and I just like put my hand prints on it put paw prints on it and then I wrote so since I wore a dress you know I have skin exposed um so if you're gonna go to a football game and have like skin exposed it never fails to have like hand prints all over your legs that just makes it look so cute especially for pictures which we'll get into later I used fabric paint the last time that I did this last time I did hand prints and it works it just it's a little weird when you clean it up, like it falls right off with water, but then it sticks to your tub. So just be careful with fabric paint. It depends, like sometimes it'll really stick and sometimes it'll shave off, but it really works for your face. So if you wanna use your fabric paint for your face, it will stay. But be careful when you're wiping it off because it's not really meant for skin, if you know what I mean. Like it's, it's one of those iffy areas. Again, use your school colors. Don't do some uh, random like, hot pink <laughs> like no do black or if you go to my school like black red gold so yeah that's what will make it like really school spirit um if you're gonna do paint on your face it's important to make sure like you don't do too much or too little like you really want to balance your face out normally i'll have like dots going up and then down or I'll have dots on like my forehead and then you have to balance it out somewhere down here. So maybe like a CV here or something or 2019, something like that. I would just be careful with face paint. Make sure you do your full face of makeup or whatever makeup stuff you do and then add your face paint because it will just be too messy if you do anything else besides that. So really like the best paint to use for painting your body and painting your face is um, acrylic paint, fabric paint, but be careful, and face paint if you can find like really good face paint for your face. Okay, and my last section is pictures. So um, as you can see on this thumbnail, this was just a really cute picture I took at my homecoming game with my best friend. The whole point of going to a football game is just being like, woohoo, school spirit, and like, I don't know, just being enthusiastic and kind of letting Letting loose from school so make sure in your pictures you know you kind of carry out that feeling like spontaneism is that a word be spontaneous like that's kind of what football games are all about be spontaneous you know a step out of your comfort zone have it translate in your pictures and your pictures will be really cute some really great areas that you can take pictures at football games are on the bleachers like the one in my thumbnail is on the bleachers before everyone like crowded up on the field on the field it's really good especially after the game it's just it just makes it like really Friday night lights feel I guess like like you're on the field and it makes the game more personal and the last thing is like in the crowd like once everybody's like filled the bleachers in the crowd it's like a really cute shot too um, especially like the stadium food like maybe you'll get a slushy or a hot dog or something if you take like a really cute picture it could be like a cute like Woohoo, football! So, an app that I really like to use is Hooji. Hopefully everyone knows what Hooji is. Um, it's like a really, really big craze. I just think the lighting on Hooji is so cool and like, it really adds like a very candid feel to your pictures. That's kind of what football is all about and sports is all about. It's like in the moment, like you're present, you're here, you're watching football, you're cheering on your school. It's just, it's just fun. So it makes your pictures fun. <laughs> um, and then obviously I talked about this in my last video. Visco is how I edit everything. So, so something that will make you especially more personal to like the football game is if you can find friends who are on the football team, in cheerleading, on the cheerleading team, on the palms team, maybe in band or whatever like something that's kind of relating you even more to the school than you just going there then um, it really makes like a fun experience for everyone and it makes for really cute pictures because it's like I know a football player I know a cheerleader like I don't know it like makes it makes you look more involved so yeah and then my last thing is close-up pictures like on the bleachers or on the field like kind of candid that are I guess more like Instagrammy model-esque Instagram is kind of what it's going for but those are super Super cute especially if you have paint on your face like the golden hour when the sun is setting before the game even starts those are make for really 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 cute pictures or I have one from the last football game which I think is okay but it's still it's still kind of cute like when you first look at it so that's how you can make really cute pictures 
at your football game. That is it for this video. I really hope you liked it. I hope you kind of enjoyed me spilling out my wisdom about football games and me as a senior. Like, these are my last football games that I'll get. Like, especially, like, with such angsty teenage school spirit. I don't know. I just, I'm really feeling, like, my school this year and I'm really feeling like the pride that I have for my sports teams and I personally love sports I love to watch sports so it's just a win-win for everyone like show up for your schools to support them and you will get an immense amount of enthusiasm an immense amount of fun so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed give it a like if you liked it comment down below anything at all anything about football what's your favorite aspect about the football game I don't know what else to say I'm good I just sped through this video, but that's okay, because we about to look cute at football games. Yes, we are, because I just gave you all these tips. Next time I will see you, I will probably be in Mexico. So stay tuned for all my Mexico videos, because it's so fun. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>